just really want to have a no makeup day because I'm not going to tell you for real, for real. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not. So, this is what no makeup makeup look like, okay? Sweater dress, bling, sneakers with tight. I love my little sneakers. I love them. These are so girly. Well, it's just hearts. I want to be great or nothing. And they've got ambition and they've got talent as well as just. So y'all gonna be mad at me today i vlogged this morning before i went to work and that's it um i'm just uh a little in my feelings and i went to the movies i had a moment to chill and relax and unwind and by the way y'all need to go check out 21 bridges it was all of that okay <sighs> But tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow is a new day. We can start this shit all over again, okay? Okay, so y'all get day seven, eight, and nine vlogs tomorrow. Sorry. All right, these are some showstoppers today, y'all. Yes, <laughs> yes. I got these from Macy's on Saturday. So, go check out your local Macy's and maybe you can grab you a bottle. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to shut this shit down. Okay, done. Take a shower. It's time to say goodnight to y'all too. Good night. God, I gotta turn off another light. Hold on, shoot. Oh. Turn off another light to turn on a little table light. Oh, battery's dead. Oh, well. Good night, y'all. Say hi. Hi, people. Hi. Good morning. Well, almost good afternoon. Okay, y'all. So, I just woke up. I tell y'all, I had. It wasn't a bad day it just was a rough day yesterday and so to come back what is you doing oh okay to come back my vibe yesterday i gotta wear words of affirmation so i'm going to be wearing this these black sweater leggings I'm going to be wearing this black and white sweater coat, okay? But today, I'm stopping any bad vibes before you even get to me, okay? Only good vibes. And if you are not having good vibes, I'm going to tell you, you need to, you need to stop. 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 Right? Yeah, right. Stop. Stop. Step your ass away. So, y'all may see these beauties again today. So, now I understand why the kids be talking about creasing, okay? Creasing. I'm just, you know, getting my wear out of them. So, I might wear those today. Depends. Or, I might be putting on them vans right there. Because... I think every time I talk to y'all, we getting ready for a visit. Like every time. You got a party. Where's my phone? Oh, sweet over there. Okay. So I am home alone this morning. <sighs> Tell y'all I was upset about people just not being fair. Okay? People not being fair. And people not listening. People not freaking listening, okay? I have a problem with people who are hard of hearing. Okay, Jada. Y'all had to send her in an Uber to school this morning because this girl missed the bus. And I had such a bad, bad headache, like a bad headache, all right? Bad. And 
Vaughn, come on. What? What? Oh my God, y'all. You wanna know what? He had to take a damn dump. He showed you. Where is the little uh, baggies? them what is his leash oh, hold on thought y'all okay so i don't want to clean up my fur baby mess because he don't want right in front of somebody else's house in their bushes and use the bathroom I was cool it. that's probably what he was about to do when y'all i saw him squat and i was like what you doing and he was like i bet not Bet not. This so lady's gonna cut me. So let's go put this in the trash. Come on. Mm -hmm. We ain't going on no car ride. Come on. We ain't going on no car ride. Mm -hmm. You know, when you don't pay bills, like electricity and shit like that, I guess you don't be caring about, you know, um, making sure you turn shit off. You know, it's not a necessity. So, as I was telling y'all, people don't listen. People are not really thinking about situations. And... I haven't met over three weeks. Three weeks. And a lot of things I can ignore. A lot of them. I can't. A lot. But there are some things I can't. Okay? And y'all know that saying. Shit will just build up. Build up. Next thing you know, you know, got mad and you know, just took it out on whoever. I really was trying not to do that. But I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> if y'all don't know me by now. When I'm mad. I let the shit be known. Okay. I ain't got to say much. I don't. But my body language speaks volumes. Okay. I'm going to come back down here. Gonna make me a grilled cheese. So let me get dressed, put my clothes on at least, and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about this because I'm mad at myself in the same sense. I not necessarily gave power to a person I gave power to a behavior and if I want to be part of the solution for behaviors to change I have to change the way I handle it. So, I didn't go off yesterday. I didn't. I didn't. It was like right here. He was here. So, it didn't, it never made it here. It was here. All right. So, because it was here, I suppressed it. I did. Now, I told you. I can't hide how I feel. But I'm going to tell you what I'm great at. I am great at ignoring your ass. I am. I'm fantastic at it. Like, I can really think somebody is invisible. I can. 
so today is a brand new day I'm gonna tell y'all I know the situation was bothering me because I had a dream and clearly I know this was still on my mind when I went to sleep but I had a dream that the person who's having this behavior we got into a physical altercation and I know your dreams don't necessarily mean exactly what you see they can mean the opposite and I'm gonna take it for the opposite y'all okay however I got my side eye for what I dreamed about okay but I'm gonna take it for the opposite because I can be the vessel that helps change this behavior let me let me get dressed Good morning, good morning, good morning, morning, morning from Steph. Yep, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right, and today, what does my shirt say? Only good vibes. It's a warning. It's a warning before you even walk up to me, okay? All right, y'all. So, in my space, you know, in my, my space, space, space. So, I'm about to do a beat and I'm going to actually see if I can do a 15 minute beat. Now, I don't want to sit and talk with y'all for 15 minutes because if I talk to y'all for 15 minutes, don't you hate when you have your city cash and you like be, what's today? The 11th. Okay, hold up. You be having this because you done spent money in New York and company and then when the time come you'll be like damn I forgot and I had them sitting on my vanity like on purpose. Okay, seven through the twelve, ten dollars New York. No, I'm gonna purchase real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go in there and check this out. Let me put this in my pocketbook. Okay, yeah, let me put these in my purse. I ain't gonna miss them tonight. Okay. Anywho, I don't wanna spend 15 minutes doing my makeup on here with y'all. Because I'm talking, I'm going to be distracted. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show y'all the time. And then I'm going to come back in that time frame and let y'all see if I'm done. Okay? Because if I'm talking, I'm I'm honest. I, I, I don't, I stop and I, I'm somebody who can talk with my hands and shit like that. So, it don't work for me. So, I'm waiting for it to get on the 55 before I start. Turn this alarm off. Put the timer. Oh, there we go. 15 minutes. 11.55. I'll be back. Timer just went off, y'all. Just went off. Okay? So, 15 minutes. Probably what I need. I probably need 20. But the point I'm about to make is, I'll tell y'all, because y'all know it's the reason behind this, right? So, I was at work, since I've been back to work, okay? People who are not new, you know, they know how I am. They know how, you know, I actually, I take the time to get up and get dressed every day. You know, when I'm going to work, I just don't show up any kind of way. Um, I can't say that for everybody, okay? But I can only speak for me right now. And this is just what I have been conditioned to do. This is who I am. This is me, okay? So, because this is me, I keep getting reactions. Um, like I said, the people who've been there, they already know how I roll, okay? They know. So, there ain't no question about it. But for people who don't, it's like, why do you get dressed every day? Like, why you come in here, like, all, like, dolled up and, you know, makeup and, you know, the way you dress and all of this stuff. And I said, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. And really, you ain't got to do nothing, you know, just... You continue to do you. But when you constantly hearing it, like, like it's a bad thing. It's like, okay. So, y'all, let me tell you. 
the cinnamon said by certain individuals that they don't believe that it takes me the amount of time it takes me to get dressed I'm somebody who already mentally like I, I have a vibe when I wake up so I kind of know what I'm gonna wear it's like already in my head I know what I gotta do today um, and because I know what I gotta do like I said we always getting ready for visits okay so because of that it's like in my head my clothes be already picked up when I am when I am like I, I know I don't have a lot of time like to be that's every day y'all hold up I can't find my liquid I like I wanted the other one but let's use this twenty dollar from Venti Beauty um I'm somebody who like if I'm if I'm gonna be like quick and getting dressed, I know how to pull something like really casual together. And I know that's stuff that y'all wanna see me like show y'all how to do and stuff. And going into 2020, that is what I'm gonna have some new playlists this upcoming year. And that's going to be one of them. The one that I tell y'all like uh how I get what I wore in a week, like why I wore it so clearly I won't be talking about my clothes and vlogs I'm gonna save that for what I wore in a week so with that being said you will see like literally what transpires like when I get dressed but I'm gonna tell y'all this um I'm not I'm not catering to the way other people dress or feel or anything like that and I'm gonna use my daughter as an example Jasmine has to get up and go to work every day and she has to be there anywhere between 5 and 6 o'clock a.m. she say she just if she's sleepy she gonna get her sleep and she's like um you know she's trying to change that about herself because she knows like I always say dress for the position dress for your job you know um people don't take you serious when you look a hot mess sorry but they don't so with that being said dress for the position you want you know so if you somebody who don't have a lot of time to get dressed i advise you pick out your clothes at night okay pick out your clothes at night that saves time if you're somebody who like doesn't know how to do makeup 100 percent like a full beat like found it foundation powder you know highlight contour and y'all i just did all of that like for real um because i have i have a system down pack i have a regimen you know and I personally I can pull it all together real quick no matter how much time I got and I got dressed like complete in 10 minutes when James was coming to pick me up and we was just going to hang out and because the outfit that I chose to put on all it required me to do was like my my basic like uh, foundation and oh hold up my basic foundation i popped on a red lip popped on a red lip and because i have to do my eyebrows and nothing i popped on a hat and when i when i came downstairs he was like well damn I'm like, what are you talking about? And he was like, I wasn't expecting like you to be like completely dressed. Cause he just thought I was like gonna throw on some sweats and stuff like that. But if I'm hanging out with my husband, like and I know we're going like to out to eat or we may end up anywhere. I'm a little cautious. Now we're going to the grocery store 
just to go run and pick up something. Yeah, I'm I'm that chick that I would throw on some sweats and like I don't have to have on makeup and stuff like that to go outside the house. Like I'm comfortable in my skin. Okay. Same situation for all. Okay. Um. However. It's nothing bad that if you don't wear makeup, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but don't try to make other people feel bad for wearing it, okay? That's my whole concept. Like, every day I work and I see this particular individual, they constantly are telling me, you don't get up two hours before you got to be to work and get dressed. No, I don't. I'm someone who values my sleep too. And she was, she was like, oh, don't you just hate when that happens with your, um, with your lashes. It's sticking to the damn tweezers. Um, and I just told her, I said, well, you could do the same thing too. I'm like, it's, it's, it's up to you. You know, we make time for what we want to make time for. Okay. So if you want to look good and feel good on a daily basis, your ass need to make time for it, okay? That's the known fact. So, y'all, y'all probably going to be like, stuff, you wrong. But, um, I got I to gotta, I gotta tell y'all this. Because, y'all can tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if you think I should have said what I said. But because it's a certain person, every day, it's the same thing. Like every day, y'all. So I was quite aggravated, as y'all already know, yesterday. And don't add to my aggravation. That's my thing. Don't add to it. So I'm in the restroom. Okay? Doing what people do in the restroom. And you come in now, and I'm at the sink washing my hands. Because I'm, 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 I'm clean like that, okay? washing my hands and they come up to me they wet their face they um walk over to me with wet face wet hands and say look i have dark circles under my eyes and i said well did you get any sleep mm. i was like well you know you was off this weekend you know you should have took some time to rest they said they couldn't because of personal reasons okay so she kept saying it and I said go get you some concealer go get you some concealer like that's easy fix like just because you got dark circles on your eyes it don't mean like you gotta walk out the house and make them prominent particularly to me that you have dark circles under your eyes I'm like get some cool cool cute cold cucumbers tonight when you go home put them on your eyes so you can decompress but then also to help hide them during the day wear a concealer child they looked at me like you bitch but i didn't take it personal i was giving accurate truthful information okay you ask and i'm gonna tell you and i'm not trying to be mean never ever ever trying to be mean okay <sighs> was i wrong if i was wrong y'all could please tell me if i was wrong because i really want to know like i told you i'm a tell it like it is type of chick and like if you don't know me you could like i said i'm an acquired taste okay because if you ask me something i'm going to be truthful i'm going to be and i will ask if you want the truth or what you want to hear she caught me off guard yesterday so i wasn't able to give her that disclaimer so you know i was just like sorry you know but it is what it is. now you tell me if i was wrong i could take it tell me if y'all thought that was mean or out of character y'all can tell me and i'll be all right with it okay so today i'm doing mixed metals i am 
That's what I do every day, okay? Um, but another question. Oh, I thought my, my glasses was cracked, y'all, because Justin's like, who wears glasses on their head? As it, Cause it's an accessory. You know, once I drop them, drop it like a snow. Drop it like a snow. Drop it like a low. Child, I want to get some prescriptions in these, okay? Okay. But back to what I was saying. How do y'all feel about tattooed makeup? I know microblading, um, ombre, eyebrow shading. I know it's like really popular right now. Like people like are paying good money for it. Um, the eyeliner, the wing liner, the lip you know lips getting tattooed to like like have i think they call it lip blush you know to have a permanent tint to your lip um how, what do y'all think about that you know now they're doing faux freckles like with the tattoos you know i want to know y'all thoughts because to me definitely that's the one way that you know if you want to be put together every day and all day and not put a lot of effort into doing it from scratch okay that's a, that's that's I think that's a great alternative now if y'all want to know what I really think about it it's a great alternative but what I really think about it is I kind of find it a little lazy a lazy that's 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 how I find it a little lazy now the micro blading brows and stuff I I think some people that's a, a must because everybody's eyebrows are not created equal okay some people don't grow nice full brows however to have the illusion I like the fact that it's micro braiding like hair strokes you know to make it look like it's hair but then remember back in the day y'all they was like literally tattooing a brow so the older people got like your brows gonna be like way down here so it's like I'm glad they done like upped the technique the strategy of how you do it because I thought that that's definitely a way for people to be walking around looking a little subtle okay <clears throat> that's the one thing that I think that if you don't have full eyebrows because eyebrows is like the f it is the spotlight of your face okay it sets the tone of your face you feel me so for somebody who don't have them or can't grow eyebrows like that full i think that's a great alternative but the tattooing lip um lip balm i mean lip color and the tattooing lip eyeliner like when it starts to fade it looks really really bad like i didn't seen it okay in person and it looks really bad how do y'all feel about tattooed makeup i'm gonna share how i feel i find it quite lazy because i'm sorry but when i take off my makeup like literally i want to see the face undone and just naked I don't want to be looking like I still got makeup on. That's why um, I'm on the fence about trying lash extensions again. Um, because when I got them for the very first time, I felt like they was like, like, I just, I never felt unglam. And it was mainly because of my eyes, you know? And I was just like, damn. Damn. Like, could you see somebody tattooing a red lip on their lip? Like, could you see that? Like, you will go to sleep and wake up with red lips, okay? On days where I don't have energy for it, y'all literally, I just wash my face, moisturize. There is a little trick, a little tip that I could give y'all. And all you gotta do is mix your foundation, one pump of this, one pump of like your primer, and put it in your hand, emulsify it, and just rub it on your face. Child, you have the most flawless looking skin, okay? Without like all the extra stuff and literally you will be good you will be gucci okay 
Okay, so yesterday I was in Ulta with Jazz, Jade, and Khadijah when we went on break, and I bought this brow tint um, by e.l.f., and I want to see how it works, so I'm going to try it with y'all. Okay, because I don't like my brows to look too dark, like, at the beginning. So this is a great way to lighten them up a little bit if you got a heavy hand. Sometimes when you're in a rush, shit happens. Yesterday, I mainly went to Ulta to get me uh, mascara for my lower lashes because um, mine's is, is done. It was, it was time for a new one. So, I normally get one that's by e.l.f., but e.l.f., they didn't have all, have all the e.l.f., so I got the Telescopic by L'Oreal in black brown. And I don't do a lot of, like, liner, like, on... Ooh, ooh, don't break. Don't break. Because, child, I would be taking this back, honey. That brush looked like it wanted to break. I don't do a lot of liner under my on my waterline. I only do that like nighttime effect, okay? And I got black rounds just so it would be like a, a hint of color and it doesn't look harsh, but it magnifies my lower lashes. You feel me? Um hold on to this receipt, Stephanie. Hold on. That might be a potential problem right now. Okay, so my face is done. That's my second alarm for you got this amount of time to go make that grilled cheese so you can get in a car and be on the road so you can get to work. Okay? That's what that second alarm is for. So I'm going to put my clothes on and I'm going to do just that. However, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back and talk with y'all today. I'm going to show y'all my outfit once I get dressed. However, um, I just wanted to have that conversation with y'all. And the moral of today's Vlogmas is people could try to take you places and get you in your feelings and piss you off. The one thing I didn't do is I did not react on it yesterday. I didn't. I suppressed it. It was right. Okay, it didn't it didn't reach the outpour. Okay, I suppressed it. <laughs> then when I got off, I went to a movie alone, and I had me a slot, a nice tall icy, and a bag of popcorn, and I sat there and I watched Twenty One Bridges, and it was good. That got me out of my feelings. Came home, I talked to my husband. I took a shower. I had a small glass of Chardonnay, I ate dinner, and I went to bed. Woke up this morning, and I was just thinking about all the things that, like, kind of like, just rubbed me a little bit the wrong way yesterday. And it, it was a situation, but it was people's behaviors. Like I said, people don't think, people don't necessarily um, behave in a way where it's fair. And I get that. There's going to be a day where I don't have to do none of this, okay? I don't have to go to nobody's job. I don't have to go work for nobody's company. I'm going to be fine. And I'm going to tell y'all how I'm going to be fine, but trust and believe I will be fine, okay? What the hell is this? Oh. So, second moral of the story was um, don't allow people to try to snatch your energy and the fact that some people who like know me yesterday they could tell like I was bothered and because I wasn't laughing I wasn't just being all the way me um they can tell and that's the part I'm disappointed in myself on don't let nobody steal your joy okay so when you see it happening you just gotta be like devil back back okay back the hell up third moral of the story is um people will judge you they will judge you no matter what you can be 
all that in a bag of chips do you hear me okay and people are gonna judge you whether good or bad therefore when that happens you just have to be grateful for who you are you know what i'm saying so do you change because they are like spotlighting and saying okay well why are you always put together why are you always dressed why are you always you know makeup is beat and stuff like that because that's who i am that's what it is and you know what it's okay for you to get like this too i ain't saying you're trying to be like me be the best you that you can be okay and if i'm inspiring you to do that okay just say that but don't say why because this is who i am this is what i do be the best you that you can be sometimes it may take meeting and running into people who you assume or you think they got it together because i'm gonna say assume and i'm going to say think y'all because everybody on social media as i said before some people are just faux fraudulent they floss okay i think i've shown y'all enough of like my everyday life beat or not uh dressed or not um situations with you know I, i'm a real ass person you know i have real issues and problems too okay i don't have my shit together every day i just told y'all i'm disappointed in myself for how i let a situation just bother me but it like it was building up and i just and i took back my peace okay but thing is i'm gonna be me regardless you can love me or not i'm not gonna change who i am i'm just not and i'm going to say you shouldn't either people if they don't like you then just don't don't be around me you don't, you don't have to you know be in my space you know so I just wanted to drop those jewels as one of y'all have said I'm always dropping jewels um life lessons this is life lessons right here in the flesh you know what I'm saying so because I know I'm not gonna be able to see y'all anymore today not on camera probably through snap um I'm going to get dressed and I'm gonna show y'all what this whole outfit look like put together but I gotta go re-wet my hair because I put no product on my hair and look at that look at it look at it no I don't look bad hold up y'all wanna know what Vaughn doing he over here in the cut literally moose hair just feel like dry and when I'm when it's wet that's when I like to put my product on it because then it's like you just do better you know you know your hair you know what I'm talking about so I'm not gonna regret it just going to put some product on it as I did you know see my part is going back in dark see that let me tell y'all uh, my hair when you want your hair to grow fast, it don't. And it does not cooperate with you. Okay? It don't. Because I was wanting a pixie. But y'all, somebody sent me this little uh, Instagram thing last night. And when I go to the beauty supply store, y'all got to give me one of these little brushes. Because, honey, I could be doing finger waves in my hair. Okay? Y'all, it's this little comb that I could do it myself. And call it a day. Okay, so I did not have to wet it. Let's get some shea butter. And y'all know I gotta use this color when my hair is this white. Oh, it's not most of it good because my hands kind of slick. <sighs> All right. There we go. Bam. All right. 
I had a shorty the other day. He asked me, he said, you got to go to the barber to get your hair cut. Yes, I do. He was like, do you mind like giving me your barber's information? Sure. I go to meet the barber in Neptune's. Neptune City. I don't know if it's a city or it's a township, y'all. I go to meet the barber. My barber, his name is Mies. If you guys live in the Jersey area and you want a dope ass barber, y'all be sure to check him out. Um, you can look him up. He is online, like on the you know the internet, and he is on Instagram as well. But he takes appointments. <sighs> only per se on the weekends but during the week he still wants you to set an appointment so you can be in and out okay so now while i let my hair set i'm gonna go ahead and put this do-rag on okay because i want them products to like boom set in that so i'm gonna get dressed and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show y'all my look i like this do-rag y'all i do it's probably my favorite one. I like the print. I like the iridescent one. That's my second thing. Second alarm. All right, y'all. So, act like y'all don't see that behind me, okay? It's my little pile that I gotta put in my laundry basket. My coat gotta hang up. Anywho, this is the outfit as it came together. Shoes on bling. Okay, and I got on some cute little, like, see-through, like, leopard socks. You know, pick up the action. So, it kind of looks like it could be, like, a sweater jogger. But, this is the complete look. I put my glasses on my head, because, like I said, glasses is an accessory, okay? If I put them down, I look real studious, okay? It has pockets, the sweater. Oh, y'all, I didn't tell y'all I had got a waist, um, a waist, waist chain, and it was up here, so now it's here. So I'm coming down, y'all. Inches tell it all, okay? Got my good vibes shirt on, and voila, I'm ready. I'm taking this handbag today because I'm going to work on my vlogs while I'm on my break today. And this is just a one dollar. And it has a, all the colors that I'm rocking today. So, gray, white, and black. Okay. Okay. I'm craving a grilled cheese before you go to work. Yes. Bam! Child, your grilled cheese is banging. Mm. How y'all like y'all grilled cheese clean with tomato soup? I like mine with some grape jelly. Mm. You'll thank me later. Okay, so y'all, I'm out comp shopping, right? Because, you know, we got to stay competitive. But I ain't going to lie. Dollar... That was called Dollar Things. Dollar Things got it going on. They had a good assortment of reusable shopper bags. Good assortment of like inexpensive ornaments. They may were foam or plastic, but still will make your tree look good. They had a really good assortment. So y'all need to check out Dollar Things. Don't sleep on them, okay? So now I'm going to check out Five Below. Time for lunch and some editing. Let me get busy. We are back on display. Y'all, I gotta go get me some little caffeine. Cause we busy. Busy doing a lot of projects. 